This is going to be a tutorial for a turtle. A turtle is an animal that eats grass. And this tutorial I'm going to show to make it step by step from start to finish. If you hear noise in the background, I'll say sorry in advance because this is a tutorial during daylight where I film wherein everybody is awake. It's a well-known creation, but I think the first guy who made it is from scooby-doo.eu. I'll put the link down below. One important thing that I have to say is First of all, be prepared because it's a unique idea, but don't be so afraid because at the end of the day, everything can be possible. Also, Violet from YouTube, she made also a tutorial of this turtle. She made it in a short version, so if you're not in the mood for a step-by-step -step tutorial, you can watch her. And if not, I still recommend you for watching her video of a double sign box stitch because I use this idea a lot in this tutorial and she made an excellent job how to explain this double side box stitch. So all the links will be in the description below and let's begin. Okay, so we're going to start by explaining some stuff before even starting. So we need to first have an X kind of thingy. So what I'm explaining is trying to explain is we need to achieve this thing. And as you can see we need to have box stitches on all four directions. So if you come with a good idea, another good idea to achieve this, that will be great because you can do it by your own for now, but um, probably you don't know how to do it. So um, how we do it? How we get a box stitch on four sides. Basically what they did in, in scooby-doos.eu or the original creator, not sure who he is. Um, what he did is basically he, make, he makes a box stitch. But, so there's two box stitches. One is will be here and one, one will be here. But that these box these box stitches are not from usual box stitches because there will be two sides, as explained by um, Violet Violet, I think she called Violet Gimp Gimp Queen something like that. Pretty sure. Um, she. So yeah, what what we do is we need to have two box stitches that have the same, well, they have double sides. So you can continue from here and you, or you can continue from here, for example. So that you can, that you'll be able to make this part. This part is basically making the same stuff, but at the third stitch, you kind of get all the strings, all the four strings that you have from here, you get them through here. And then you continue up to here, three stitches. So, that's kind of a, the idea. So uh, as you can see here, it's you can't really see it. The um, X here is pretty hidden from the view of a sphere. But believe me, that's what you need to do first in order to achieve this nice looking thingy. So yeah, let's uh, begin actually. So we need to make the double sided box stitch, two, two of those. So what I have, um, the, um, uh, I have your tons of strings, of course, eight strings, and I have um, four strings green and four strings brown. And well, I'll take some of these two greens and two browns in a moment. Give me a second. Okay, sorry for waiting, keep you waiting. And yeah, I have here all my four strings, as you can see. So, four strings. Um, I think the scooby doos at eel said that one yard will be okay. So, one yard I checked is three feet. One yard is actually zero, 0 0.9 meters, I think. So, if you're in the rest of the world, 
it's um, 0 0.9 meters if you want to be exact or three feet if you want to be even more exact and okay so what we do with these four strings is going to create the double box stitches box stitch okay I'll try to explain it um, as quick as possible because she made a, a very um, good explanation on her own I, I um, recommend this video I'll put the link I think here in the suggestions or and also in the link down below please watch, watch this video because she ex explained it she explained it perfectly I think like depends on you but I think she explains pretty good okay so um, how we do it um, I'll try to explain uh, we take um, I'm going to take the four strings and basically I would like to do first green and then brown and then green and then brown because you'll see in a moment so again it's not the real I'm not going to make any, any hard work here not pictures in order to explain you what to do but I hope that you understand so uh, how to make for example a box you you take one string get over another string and you have uh, four strings of course you have one two three four and every time you go the first string here the, the second string will be over and then the third string will be over this one and then the fourth will, will be you know over and under stuff so that will be more or less the same idea but with some I like to call this Pac-Man so we have four strings that you can think of it think of it of a mouth you can see on my mom and then it's like a Pac-Man if you get the idea so a first Pac-Man will go down and he's not going to eat anything but then you take the brown string the brown string is going to to eat this green string okay so yeah trying to explain it much a little bit different different here than hers so you have here the first Pac-Man and he's going to eat nothing here but the brown string the second Pac-Man as you'll see here here is the second Pac-Man and he is going to eat the, the first Pac-Man so basically what you do is you're going to eat it um you can see we take the Pac-Man and we eat it eat the green string um, if you don't understand uh, check her video it's much I think it's much better than mine in this um, thing here right now so you, you take the brown Pac-Man and you take you eat the green and then make sure that everything is stay, stays the same again it's a little bit hard for us to explain how to need to yeah need to understand how to put to hold strings of course so make sure that everything is like that and then the green pac-man will come and eat the brown pac-man well um this is going to be a little bit harder then yeah we need to take the green pac-man so we need to form or finding the center of course the center of a string yeah okay so we found the center of a string and then so we get one down one lift make sure that it's one down one lift and then the third pac-man the green will eat the brown pac-man something like that okay so one down one left one up and our last will be our last will be so make sure it's like that you eat the brown on my mom a stupid idea but it's kind of okay you understand like just just eat the brown strings with a green and again make sure it's your fingers like that 
and our last string will be the fourth string, but the fourth, the brown string, the last brown string will need to eat this green, but in the same time, the green string is going to eat the, the brown string. So it's like over under, but with Pacmans. Um, so how we do it? So basically, you take one of the uh, side of a string, of a um, brown string, you put this through under the greens, okay? Make sure it's under the, under the greens. And then you're gonna go inside the mouth of, of this green Pac-Man, like that. And then what you'll do is you're gonna you're gonna make sure it's like that. Make find the center of a string around here. Will be the center of a string. Okay. So make sure it's like, make sure it's like that. Okay. So everything is like that, and then all that's left is to take the other side. So we have this side. Put it underneath these two greens and inside the mouth of this green string and then we take the other side, the left side here and then gonna go over the, the two greens and but inside, again inside the green string here so the brown string here will eat this Pac-Man but at the same time you can see that this green eats the brown string so it's kind of over under, as you can guess. And there we have it. We have a on a double-sided box stitch. And as you can see, if we pull the strings accordingly, and of course, if you don't know how to pull strings, <laughs> this is not a video for you. But um, this is what you'll get: a box stitch here and a box stitch here. So what's next for making the double side box stitch? As you'll see that it's not going to be that um, stretchable, you can't really stretch it that good. So I would like to... So ah, Also, you'll see that you have your, your right hand position here. So a string that points towards you is on the right always here. It's always going to be on the right and on the opposite side, as you can see, you'll see in a moment, have here a left hand position. It's pretty obvious because it's on the other side, but uh, anyway, you can see the string is on the left here. The string at points towards you is on the left, always on the left here, on the left. So we need to choose one of our, si of our sides. sides. So I'll choose the left just because I'm lazy. And um, yeah, we need to take now the um, strings that are on the upper side here. So here is a string, this is down here, this is up, this is up. So basically all these four strings. Oops, this one, this one. You can see all these are the upper strings on this um, box stitch here, you can see. I'm pretty sure you can see what I'm doing, what I'm talking about. So all these other four strings here is on the bottom sides. So what we'll do is basically is I'm going to try to pull this, pull the strings as soon as good as possible because I'm gonna need these and all the top sides. All the top of the strings we're going to make a box stitch. So top string here, the top string is here. I hope that you you see what I'm doing. And the top string here is this one. You can see. Okay, oops. And that will work. as we want to do stuff 
that will work fine. Once we make our this second box stitch here, thing will be a bit much um, stretchable because yeah, what you can do right now is basically well, you can see that we still need to pull all the strings, but the more stitches we'll make, the more searchable the strings will be. And um, yeah, um, let's uh, make another box stitch here, and then I'm going to undo the, the one on the bottom side. Yeah, you'll see in a moment. Okay, so we do this stuff and we're gonna need so we've done two normal box stitches as you can see and the one here is the weird 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 uh, double sided thing so it's pretty much you can repull we we even oh my dog is barking yeah, I don't care. So we done the two box stitches that we made, and let's uh, now continue by making another um, double side box stitch. So I have here another four strings, but the same thing. Going to do the same thing, and. Uh, let's begin. So, for example, we're going to take uh, the brown first. So, again, like we've done before, I'm going to fo form um, four. If with, with, with four strings, we're going to form four loops, like Pac-Man. So, first loop is will be this one. So, the brown string like that. Make sure it's like that, and it's going to point it down here. And then next will be the left. So we have a green string. And we're going to eat this brown like that. So we're going to take it something like that, as you can see. So one down, one left. And next it will be a little bit harder because we need to we need to hold the string. So make sure it's like that. And now I'll Add the other brown string. So one down, one left, now up the brown string. We'll need to go here up. So we'll make sure it's like that. So, as you can see, so please make sure it's like that. And oops, excuse me. So yeah, one one down, brown string down here. One, the green string is in the left. It's hard for me to show you because I have to hold the strings because if not, it will fall apart. So excuse me for that, but um, make sure that the brown string is here, points upwards, and the last string to add is the green, and we're going to do the over-under thing, so I'm going to eat the green string, the new green string, we're going to eat this, green, this brown, and this brown will be eating the um, green, something like that. So something 
one here the green string will be first here up up this up these two browns and then under the loop here the brown string here and then you have the other side of the green string the left side so grab your left side and go down down the browns and in between the, the brown loop so you have this kind of thing as you can see like over and then under so make sure it's like that and after pulling the strings you end up with a nice double box stitch and right away, after making this, we'll make a stitch, box stitch. So, for example, let's make, um, I think last time we did a left hand, but yeah, I need to make sure that um, it will turn out at the end like this. So, uh, so yeah, let's... Um, Um, okay, let's for example take make a stitch here. If we do it, it will close the um, double sided stitch, so it will be even better than before. So, okay, that is it. And um let's uh, make another one And uh, I flip the stitch upside down and going to remove a stitch here. So we'll have two stitches, two nice stitches, more to be exact. And Um, I need to undo this brown string. Okay, so yeah, um, and do here. So, and just um, fixing the um, box stitch here. That's all I done here. And yeah, make sure that you have. Now, if you don't understand what I did right now, you can check the, the first in the first video how I did this. And if not, uh, try to watch um, Violet, Violet's video about it. I'm pretty sure you can understand what she did. She did. Uh, she did. She did it quickly and understandable. So um, 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 um. M. 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 Okay, so now uh, let's uh, make another stitch because uh, you'll see in, in a few moments why why I'm making another stitch. Show now, show now, show now, show now. Now, so I made three stitches. So now we had three stitches here and two stitches here. Make sure you have two and three, 
And what we'll do now is I'll try to explain a little bit what we're going to do right exactly right now. So we are on the stage that we have three stitches here, for example, three stitches here and two stitches here. And then what you want to do is you want to insert the, the, the strings that we have three inside the um, stitch that you have two. Like the lanyard here will in, go in through the second lanyard here. And it, we're going to first uh, take this loop and pull it through and, and then make another stitch here, this white stitch here, and then taking this loop and the other one on the same side, the white one here, this one, and this one will go through here, and then I'll do the same thing with this yellow. This yellow loop will, put, or will be inside here. Uh, it's pretty hard for me to explain exactly, you know, it's, um, you need to visualize it. So let's not be confused and let's think as a robot. So how a robot will do is basically you'll take, you need to find first the, uh, you have two sides and make sure that this side will be the left hand. This side will be also the left hand. So both of them are like that. Not the opposite, so not um what I meant here here for example not like that because this this one will be this one will be right hand position and this one will be left hand position so not like that but so there'll be the same position here left hand and left hand and uh, make sure also that green string are here brown string are here brown string here, green string here, the same color on the same sides and we want basically to do something like that okay so like put this thing here on this side so make sure it's aligned like that left hand position here and brown strings and green strings are like that and what we'll do is we'll make a box stitch here on the stitch that you have two stitches, the lanyard that you have st two stitches on, you'll make two stitches. Uh, we make one stitch, one box stitch. Okay, so have one box stitch here, and again, make sure that this is the left hand and the green strings and brown strings are like that. And now what you want to do is to take the closest green string and put it through the stitch here. So in my example, the closest green string here is this one. So basically, yeah, a uh, green string is the closest string to here. Second will be this one, third will be this one, and fourth will be this green. So we're going to do a stitch, add this, a stitch, add these two, and then a stitch, and then add the last one, the fourth. So I hope I do understand, and let's uh, put it through. So again, only one string you need to add, not all these two, not these two, only one that has uh, it that is on the top here. So let's uh, do it. We'll find the, the edge and stick it here. Make sure make sure every string that you you insert for the stitch here is going over here from left to right here in between the two green strings, not through the brown strings. So do exactly like that and you'll be fine. Okay. I hope you understood. And again, I'm I'm explaining like a robot because to try to visualize it is a little bit harder than making it. So 
we make your stitch pull the strings of course and you get you pull the green string also this one and you'll get this thing okay so don't be afraid it's not uh, the, it's not that difficult if you understood what I did right now you'll you'll be in good hands okay so make sure the string here is inside getting full over here full here Okay, and I hope that it understand that. Okay, so just showing you that this string is this string. Okay, and we do going, we're going to do the same thing. And what you'll do is we'll um, we'll make another box stitch. And so we did one, two, three. We need to make another five. So two stitches, add a string here, add a string, another string, add another string, four stitches, and then another two. So every time I'm going to add a string, one string. So as you see, we have here first string, and let's make another stitch. And as you can see, also as you can see, our closest closest string right now will be this brown string. Then this one will be a third, and this one will be a fourth. So making, we're always going to make boxes box stitches here and adding the strings here. So making a second box stitch. And adding the second string, and again the second string, the closest string all of these three strings to here is this brown, as you can see. So closest string. So we're taking the bottom brown, the, uh, the upper brown, not the bottom one. We have two two browns here. The, the um, upper brown, we're going to take it and getting through the, gr the green strings like that. Okay. 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 And pulling the strings. So you get that. And next, make another box stitch here. Make another box stitch here and adding this the, uh, the next closest string. It's this one. So again, the upper upper brown, not for down. The string that is down, the upper brown. So making a box stitch. Taking a brown string here, and then here, this one, and in between these two green strings, and pull the stitch. And last string that we need to put is this one. Last green. So making another box stitch. And adding the last string here, this one. Okay, make sure. It's the upper one, not the bottom string. 
put it in between the green strings. And um, after that, we'll make another two stitches here on the side here. And then move on to this one. So make another two stitches right now. Just to finish the first side. So we'll finish now. Ah, yeah. So what what we've done what what I've done right now, basically, is I had here three stitches. I had here two stitches, and then I insert. We had here four strings, four strings to to construct a box stitch. First string went through this loop. Second string went through this loop. Third string went to through this loop. Fourth string is went went into this loop and basically all of them four strings are now here on this side so we did one two three four five six stitches here and then we need to make another two so i make it now i'm making another two stitches and then we'll make another three stitches here on the side that we have none no stitches so we've done three stitches here four uh, six stitches here zero here so uh, let's uh, continue so we need to make another two stitches here So this one and another two, another one. And after that we will make three stitches that we then we didn't made. So we did as you can see this is a little bit a mess, so what we'll do is we'll pull all those four strings and yeah but you can see now that we have eight stitches here three stitches here and we're going to need to make another three stitches with these four strings this one, this one, this one, and this one. Okay, so in summary, we did we did all this. We did this. Now what's left is this. Three stitches here, and that will be done. So let's make our three stitches. So, as you can see, we have here four strings one, two, three, and four. And we want to make sure that um, the green strings are in this side, brown strings are in this side. So we'll have here brown strings, all, all these green strings on the, on the, you know, this side here. All, all these sides green strings here are brown strings so we take uh, this brown put it here we're making a box stitch actually so we take uh, we take this brown put it here this brown put it here and forming the box or you, if you want if you make uh, more sense for you it's the same thing you could take this green here straight green string here straight and then adding your brown strings weaving your using weaving your brown strings yeah so make your box and then making another two boxes so in total we have here three 
we will, we will have here. So this is the first. You can number one and yeah, number two. So make sure you chosen the right strings. Of course, it's not that obvious. And making the last one. And yeah, we made four stitches. One last thing to realize that we done here actually four stitches here and three stitches here. So we're not going to redo everything. So obviously the only thing we need to do is basically remove a stitch here. So we'll have here three stitches. I think it's very obvious what to do. So you remove here a stitch like that, as you can see, removing, having here, and now we have here three stitches. So we had here four, I, um, I think I, uh, it was a mistake of mine, but uh, you know, when you make mistakes, it's not, sometimes it's not that, um, uh, that you know, a big mistake, it's a small mistake, you know. Instead of making three, I made four. So I moved one stitch and have your now I have your three stitches. So what we have right now is we have here a left hand, a left hand, a left hand, and a left hand. Again, what I mean in left hand is a string that closest to me is on the left side. So here is a left hand, as you can see, string string that points towards me is in the the string that points towards me is on the left. String that points towards me here is also on the left. This one is also on the left. And the last one will be also on the left. Always on the left. And that's very important for you because if you don't do the same position or leave all of them on the left or all of them on the right side, the right position, if you don't do it, it's not going to work. So you have to get these kind of thing, make your X, and that will be it for this part. So next part, next part we're going to actually make a sphere. So this is um might be a little bit uh, not obvious for, for you to make. So please watch carefully what I done, what I've done. If you have any question, of course I'll be happy to answer, and I'll I recommend many sites that explain this this thing. So I'll put the links, uh, put the links down below and see ya.